Hello, welcome to Mylene's music class. I'm Mylene, and these are my daughters, Ava and Hero. Hello. They're going to be helping us out today. So today, we're going to be learning the difference between major and minor, and then we're going to talk about how major and minor makes us feel. So we'll play some pieces, and uh, we'll talk about what major and minor does to those pieces. And after that, we're going to do a mini test. Now, in that test, Ava and Hero uh, are going to help you with the quiz and the prize if you get all the answers right is I'm going to play the piano backwards. So that is what we're playing for. Be very sad if you don't get to see my party trick. Do you not agree, girls? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right, so well, that's what we're playing for. Uh, you do not need an instrument. Loads of people are, are getting so worried. Do I need to have an instrument to learn music? Everyone has, everyone's got instruments with them, their hands, and what they need most, their ears. So that's all you need. I'm going to do the playing today. Right, so let's learn. Often in a movie, uh, and they use major or minor. So minor chords can make you feel very sad, or very scared, and major chords can make you feel very happy and just very peaceful. So I'm going to show you um, a piece where it is all in C major, so it can help you remember what major sounds like. And it's a piece that we all know very well at the minute because we're all washing our hands to it. It's a happy birthday, and somebody had a birthday this week. So, uh, double celebrations. So this is C major, happy birthday. So here's the first piece. pieces have to be slow and sad but actually a lot of minor pieces are very fast can you think of a fast piece that mama plays to carter so are you ready major or minor This is um, happy, but it's slow. Major or minor? Major. Major, major. Did you get major? Yes, very good. Okay, I'm going to play you another piece and you're going to tell me if it's major. 
major or minor. Girls, get ready to hold up your paper when I give you the nod. Um. off you'll be amazed at how different it feels it doesn't feel scary it doesn't feel happy it's just quite weird just to watch the images we've tried it before haven't we in fact you can try doing that see if you can do that uh, if you've got any questions by the way just keep firing them to me i'll have a little read and i'll make sure i get back to you on those questions okay so shall we do another piece get ready with your major or minor get ready with your major or minor sang it or it was from the sound of music how would you feel if you listened to it it reminds me of snow yes totally what do you think Aaron? it's really cold it it's makes me cold. feel cold as well very good right okay so we've uh, looked at the difference between major and minor now we're going to do a, a mini mini quiz where i'm going to play a piece and in the piece, there's going to be some major chords and there's going to be some minor chords. And you guys are going to hold up your happy face or sad face for major or for minor. And Ava and here are going to help you. And uh, the chords are going to change through the piece. So are you ready? Let's yeah. do um, Apollo's favourite favorite song. This is their baby brother. And it's from Moana. <laughs> about how one of those pieces makes you feel or maybe just listen to the radio maybe listen to other songs out there or watch a movie and think about how those songs make you feel think about if they're major or minor we learnt major or minor today we talked about what they can do to movies and how they make you feel and we did a quiz where you got to see my magic party trick thank you so much for watching remember if there's a something that you like to make sure you press like and also subscribe completely for free ava's been desperate to do this 
And make sure you turn that notification bell to get all the latest from our videos. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.